Hello everyone, I'm Casper Kuma and welcome back to Unreal Life. Now, if you remember last time, we did fight Miss Sakura and then we got like our little doomsday mission. <laughs> um, she's gonna try to f get us out of here, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna have to die to do that. The transfer portal doesn't work. It is probably broken. Maybe Stein could fix it. Right, so we have to go meet up with Stein and the Moss Ball, and I think we also have to go to the train. I think that fish ticket we have is gonna help us change our fate, basically. We're trying to figure out a way to get us all to live, essentially. Um, we should probably see Stein. I think the last time we saw him, he was in the cafeteria, because we were all having our farewell party. Oh, it's just a Moss Ball. Well, maybe she'll have something to say. Welcome back, Hal. Hi, Mo. Actually, I was wondering if you could cook that for me. <laughs> I made it already, just for you. Ooh. I'll be going back home very soon. That's wonderful. Aren't you happy? Thank you for cooking for me, Mo. It was delicious. Aw, oh, don't mention it. Come back anytime, my dear. Actually, <laughs> what's the matter? I may not be able to come here anymore. Don't worry, we'll come see you in your dreams if that's what it takes. <laughs> see you again, sweetie. Yes, yeah, see you again. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, this place exists in our minds or whatever. Isn't that what they said last time with Miss Sakura? D do you have anything for me? I wasn't sure. Okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, I don't know where Stein would be. How did we meet him in the first place? We didn't take a transfer gate to get to him in the first place. Was he over to the right? Actually, let's talk to the desk guy. Maybe he has something to say. Stein has retor returned to his quarters. Okay, well, thank you. I think we can get to it over here. Because I think this is the workers' area. Yeah, he lives up here. We have to just take the elevator up. Perfect. Doesn't matter that our transfer gate's broken. Although, I wonder why. Like, I wonder... I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's super necessary that it's broken. Especially since Stein should be able to fix it, right? So, hmm. Hey Stein, what's up? I need you to fix things. Welcome back. So, this world exists in the mind of you and Miss Sakura. Interesting. You believe me? Actually, I had already realized it. What? Hal, you and Miss Sakura defy the laws of this world in too many ways. In particular, there's a lobby door. Isn't that just a transfer portal? No, that's just a piece of furniture that Mo brought in. It was just supposed to be for decoration. Hmm. But you and Miss Sakura came, can travel through it. So I tried to figure find out the truth about you. I found out that you're not part of this world. Stein, can I ask you something? So, you want to stop a train in the real world? Do you think you could do that? I couldn't. It's impossible even for him. For me, yes. But there's somebody that can, but not for you. Oh, how? <laughs> me? You know it already, don't you, 195? Yes. What are you two talking about? Hal and you- Hal, you and Miss Ocker can understand things in this world just by touching them. What do you mean? When you understood what those calculations meant, this- this is why. If you understood such complicated calculations just by touching it, it means that you can use this power at least as much as Miss Sakura. But at first I couldn't even read at all. We all have to start somewhere. You have traveled far and learned many things. Maybe now you can find it. A way to save both of you. But how? Even Miss Sakura failed. Miss Sakura is a genius. She's much smarter than you. But you have a powerful AI as your ally. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> However, the two of you lack some stability. So, I'll help you. Thank you. I'll do my best. 195, I'm counting on you two. Of course! How are we gonna do this? 
The function allows to significantly increase task process processing speed. You may encounter unwa unwanted side effects such as overheating and risk skip. <laughs> complete, complete, complete. What are we doing? We're hacking the mainframe. Oh my god, we're opening our mind's eye. Or something. Overclock complete. And now we're dead. We fried ourselves. How? Oh, we're alive. That's good. Let's start. First of all, I need to know about the differences between this world and yours. I'll tell you some physical principles and constants, and you tell me how they're different over there. Yes, this constant 6167259, no difference. This is one, uh, 256 higher. What about this differential? Th those just look like Fibonacci. What? <laughs> oh, okay, so I guess, did we, like, combine with 195 and unlock super smarts or something? Using this anonymous fading, will this really work? Your idea is worth trying. Then I'll go to Caselli Station. I almost forgot, this anonymous fading has become so bad that transfer portals are going to break. I'd say that they're safe for one more trip. That's a problem. I did my best to keep this one working, use it, but as for the return trip... I'm going, I'll come up with a way to return. Oh, I was just gonna say, we know where the station is, we could just walk over. <laughs> Stein, thank you for everything, see you. Best of luck. Like, we could have just walked to the station from the hotel. And then we would have been fine on the return trip, so why are we doing this? This is gonna get rough, or tough. <laughs> Time for me to get going. Stein's a real leader of operations here. Yeah, we didn't have to take that, I don't think. We could have just... Or... Yeah, we took a train to this spot, and we took the... We got to here from the hotel. Why did we need the transport gate? <laughs> How? Hi, Burn. Thank you for helping us at school. I was just repaying my debt. You know, I'm going to a place far away. Oh, really? If you ever need me, blow the whistle. I'll always come running for you. Thank you. See you, Burn. See you, Hal. Oh, Burn's great. I, can I give him one last pat? Oh, I can only talk to him. I'll always come running for you, Hal. Thank you. See you, Burn. Alright, uh, Castelli Station is not this way. It's this way. I guess we just want to say hi to Burn? I guess. Isn't it this way? Yeah. Yeah. This is totally the way. We don't need to go down there. So, where will the fish ticket take us? Oh, what's this? What? What are we looking at? Memorize the exit sign? Hmm. I wonder what. I don't know. Guess we'll need it for something. Hmm. Weird. Uh. Here? He used a fish ticket. Or can I just enter? Let's just try it first. Oh. Alright, it doesn't matter. It did. It did it anyway. Who cares about what I want? <laughs> Where would Caselli be? On the train, right? Uh, you're not Caselli. I think we have to go all the way down to the bottom platform. Maybe? Hmm... Caselli, we need you! Some, for some reason. I, I can't really remember why, to be quite honest. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but... We'll figure it out. Oh, what are you doing here? Did you come to catch up with Miss Sakura? Yes, we finally met. Nice! Say, Caselli. Huh? Can I press the emergency stop switch? Huh? Of course not! It probably won't send any signals to the train, so... Just press it, and I didn't see anything. <laughs> Yay, let's press the button! Really? If you're asking me for permission, you must have a good reason. I trust you. Thank you! Do it, do it, do it! Okay, 195, let's go. Yes. What are we doing? Let's go back to road 195, Hal. But how are we gonna get there? What's the problem? I'll just give you a ride. See? But what about your job? 
Oh, that? You see, someone just pressed the emergency stop switch. <laughs> so now I guess I have to go ba go patrol the railroad. Yeah, jump on. Hell yeah, let's go, Caselli. But yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really matter about the transport gates if we could just ride the train, right? Although I still don't know what the plan is. We pressed the stop switch. So are we trying to say that that's going to stop the real life train? Did we stop? Oh? Wow, check that- check out this view! Oh, okay. Uh, we don't really have time for this, but okay. I've always wanted to climb on this bridge. It's chilly up here, though, huh? <laughs> like... Aren't we, like, a couple minutes away from being run over in real life? Isn't that a thing? <laughs> we should make a little more haste. I'll... I'll be going back home. Nice. Have you found what you want to do? I think I have. I want to be a train conductor. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Caselli. Thank you too, Hal. Ah, oh, if you're going to go back home, does that mean it's goodbye to 195 as well? Indeed it is. We've really been through a lot together. Yes, but we are close to our goal now. We should enjoy this beautiful view. Hmm. You're right. Here we are. Thank you for everything, Sally. Don't mention it. It was fun. See you around. Yeah, see you. Let's do this thing! Oh wait, let's think about my thoughts. It might tell us something we need. What I can do right now. There's not much that I can do. Oh. <laughs> but I'll just do what I can right now. Thank you, everyone. Now I understand. Hmm, okay. Have we talked to everyone? I think so. So we should be good to go, right? Where are we going? Uh, the hotel manager? Welcome back, Miss Hal. Are you departing? Yes. Thank you for everything. Not at all. It has been our utmost pleasure. Say, how much did you actually know? I wonder what you were talking about. Ahem. Now, as for the stay extension fee and the train repair fees. Oh no, I have no money on me. Oopsies. All the fees are already paid for. What? The time we have spent with you is priceless. Ah. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> and most of all, we are able to behold the fierce glare of your beautiful eyes. Take your destiny into your own hands. Farewell. Thank you. See you again. Yay. Friendship saves the day. How are you? Is this gonna work? <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh. I still don't know what the plan is. I mean, we did stuff, so hopefully that stuff will pay off, right? Do we have anything that I need? I don't think so. I don't know why I could memorize that exit sign. That didn't really seem to do anything. But let's do this, I guess. Let's talk first. Are you ready to go back to reality? Talk to me when you are. Hmm, just a little longer. By the way, there's one little mistake in the traffic lights theory. A mistake? Yes, I actually made the trip from the Phantom Station to the museum storeroom on foot. On foot? But what about the train? I couldn't power it. I thought of harnessing electricity from lightning, but the weather didn't change much around that station. I would have taken days to power it- it would have taken days to power it enough to move, so I just started walking. So that is why the museum director said that the train reached the storage room on its own. But how long did you have to walk? Who knows? All I can tell is that I came close to losing my mind several times. I would have given up if I weren't so determined to find you. And I had Cutlet to keep me company. Or Cutlet. <laughs> Not Cutlet. Oh god. <laughs> That's what happens after he dies. <laughs> Alright. Achievement unlocked. Obsession. Jeez. Oh, she's obsessed with me. I see how it is. I guess let's go back to reality. I think we've done all the things that could be done. Hal, it's time. Now, stand in front of the railroad crossing. 
What about you? Come here. Come here. 195. This is goodbye. Yes, it is. Are we hugging it? <laughs> We're hugging the pole. That's adorable and silly at the same time. Hi. Uh, how? Please do not cry. <laughs> Your reality is full of beautiful flowers, blue skies, delicious food, and kind people. And you, Hal. These legs that you have used to walk through this world. These hands that you have used to touch it. Was that us on the telephone pole? And most importantly, this mind that you have used to understand it. They will be with you in your reality, too. Aww. But I won't be able to see you. No. I'm not going to die. And neither is anyone else here. As long as you remember our story, 195's personality will live on inside you. We will always travel together, Hal. Do not worry. 195 is a wireless high-performance AI traffic light. I will protect you from anything. I promise. So promise me that you will live and show me new things, new views. You, you're right. I'll live life to the fullest. Live to the fullest? Don't make me laugh. How can you say that after throwing yourself under the train? Do you really think you can live? Are you dumb? I won't allow it. I'll never forgive you. I don't want your reality. I'm sorry. Haru? Haru? It's the spirited way? I know you, Haru. You are me, aren't you? You're the part of myself that I left behind. And you are always here, inside of me. The part that I hate. The part of me that hates me. That's right. So what? We jumped under that train, and we even got Miss Soccer involved. We even suffered so much already. There's no reason to live anymore. There is a reason. I want to... draw. Huh? That's it? That's reason enough for me. After all that, she... All that Anzu said to you, you still want to draw? I'll just do what I can do. I don't care what people say. What are you talking about? We're not welcome anymore. Anywhere. We're welcome here, in this beautiful world inside of me. What help will that be? Will that help you face the pain of reality? You can't. We can't face it. We don't need to. It's fine to run away if the pain is too much to bear, but... Stop it. Don't. Stay away. But I won't run away from you anymore. I'm sorry. It must have been so tough. Uh... What? <laughs> I'm so scared. Nobody will accept us back in reality. I'd rather die than go back to that lonely world. If all you have to count on in this w is this world inside your head, that's just pitiful. Is it? Only I get to decide that. That's not fair. I can't do it right now, but one day, I'll save you. Wait for me. Let's go back to reality. Together. Whatever happens, it'll be on you. Hal, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. How? Hey, traffic light. Yes? 
What kind of traffic light are you anyway? I'm an accident prevention traffic light that saves people lives with wireless signals. I see, but you weren't in my story. Hal, you thought him up, didn't you? A kind, helpful traffic light. Thank you for looking over for her. That was my duty. See you, 195. Hal, where are, the, where are the blue shoes? We're leaving this world. Okay. Alrighty, I don't know what's, how this is all gonna work out, but okay. Used blue shoes. Let's go, Miss Sakura. <laughs> still, I still am a terrible teacher. I was never able to help you. There's something I must apologize for. I lied to you earlier. I told you that we could save ourselves, ourselves, but that's not true. This method can only save one person. All I could give you was this mediocre, predictable ending. According to my calculations, I will regain consciousness first, and then I'll shove you off the railroad. You'll think it's rich of me to say this, but live, Hal, please. Be a good girl, Hal. What? What is this? It's a pre present for you, a pair of blue shoes. Just keep it a secret from the other students, okay? Why are you giving me these all of a sudden, and they're adult size? Sorry, I didn't know your size. One day you'll be an adult too, and you'll be able to wear them. I want you to look forward to that day. I know that life's hard right now, but by the time you fit into these shoes, I'm sure that things will be better. Miss Sakura. I'm sorry, Hal. I wish I could do more. No, Miss Sakura. It's alright. We aren't going to die. What? Because we... We're gonna die together. What are we doing? Huh? Did we... Are we, like, falling upwards? Oh boy, oh boy. Uh... How? How? Hmm. How? Is this reality? Wait, what? I'm alive! Where's the train? It's right there. But where is Hal? Hey, why did the train stop all of a sudden? We received an emergency stop signal, but we're not sure where it came from. I, 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 how did that work? I know we pressed a button, but how did that work? That's weird. Did the system crash or something? Hal? Hal, where are you? Well, that's good. You must be tired. Emergency stop signal, wireless brainwaves, wireless communication with humans. <laughs> Who would have thought? So... We can finally go. Oh? Oh, is the tree blooming? That's right. This was a cherry tree. It's blooming. Well, this is good, I guess. It's spring already. Can you take me with you to the new school you're going to? Time to go home. I'm still gonna get bullied at school if you let me go back. Maybe I could be homeschooled or Zoom schooled. Okay. So, did, when 195, like, superpowered my brain, I got to the. I got the ability to wirelessly communicate with real world world objects, right? 
Oops. <laughs> I guess I could have finished this last time, darn it. Well, I didn't release it yet, so I'll just attach it on the end. Maybe. Or I'll just release it as a 25-minute thing. I don't know. But, <laughs> uh... Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> so, hitting the stop station button, in my mind, I wirelessly communicated with the real world, world train. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alrighty then. You know, that was a lot easier than Miss Sakura's plan of waking up first and pushing me out of the way. Because if she would have tried her plan, I don't think it would have worked. Like, she would have only been awake for a couple of minutes, and in those minutes, she still has to, like, kind of regain consciousness as what's going around, like, going on around her. And then she would have had to be able to push me out of the way, like, mid-jump or something, as we're both about to get run over by a train. <laughs> that would have been very hard to do. I can't see us living through that. <laughs> but now that I've unlocked my brain to its fullest potential, does that mean I can control everything in this place with just my mind? Or I'll, I'll, like, I guess I can only do it if I, like, interact with things in my mind world, but I... I think that's not available anymore. I don't think I'll be able to go back there, right? Unless if I can see it in my dreams. I don't know. And did we always have an- I I, I honestly can't remember what happened the last time we played, but Haru. Is that just a, a name we just came up with, or is that the name of that guy that had a crush on us? I feel like it'd be weird if it was a guy. I feel like it's just our, like, our own name we just made up for it, but I can't- I honestly can't remember from last time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope- I hope things work out for, like, Hal, though, when she goes back to school. Like, she's still got all that stuff going on. I kind of wish- I don't know, I don't know if there's anything at the end where, like, these credits run out, but I kind of wish there'd be something that shows what goes down when she goes back to school. Like, I don't know. At this point, I feel like she's better off transferring to a new one or something like that. Because Anz is still going to be there, and she's still going to be a jerk. But I guess now that I've kind of broken out of my, like, little headspace of sadness, maybe I'll be able to stand up for myself a little bit better? Perhaps. Hopefully. This was a cool game, though. Uh, I don't know, I liked all the characters. It did kind of feel very spirited away, though. I don't know, you, could, you walk through a thing, you get introduced to a bunch of new, weird characters. <laughs> I don't know, kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, so Miss, and our story for today finishes here. Ah, oh, but I want to hear more. No can do. It's time to go home. But your stories are always so interesting. Don't worry, you're going to love tomorrow's story. Okay, see you then. Miss Howe? Oh, there is more. And the un girl's unreal life. What are we looking at here? Oh, it's all the people I met. Right? Oh, and I have that little orb thing with me, or the marble. Hmm. Oh, and we both have blue shoes. I don't know. I guess everything's fine, right? Cool. Who's that other person by the stoplight? Thank you for playing. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for making the game. So that's the game. I hope you liked it. I thought it was cool. I liked the characters. The story was nice. Uh, <laughs> I I do hope Hal makes it out of school alive. <laughs> She's still got like a lot to go and patch up before things are gonna be okay. And I wonder if like Miss Sucker's gonna stick around now that all this has gone down. I forget why she had to transfer. I forget if it was because she had to or because she wanted to. I 
I feel like it was more of a you have to transfer than the why do you want to transfer thing so I don't know I, I hope that they, they get to stick around together that'd be cool but that's all for this one so let me know what you think of the game down comments below and I will see you in the next one this is Casper Kuma over and out